just get Cos in here to check my stream to see if it's okay. And I shall put up a notice on Mastodon. Okay, so everything's working. Let's get straight to the biscuits. <clears throat> so today's... Hey, Cos. What's up? So, this is my stream plan for today's stream. I don't sound, I don't sound very enthusiastic because... I don't know. I spent like an hour trying to get DOSBox to play music just right. Anyway, um, <laughs> you gotta be more enthusiastic, Duke. I've got kombucha here. That's pretty good. Uh, it's like the one amount of apple juice that actually came out good. Like I had, I was, I poured the last of one of my bottles and it actually I don't know how to describe it without saying that it smelt exactly like vomit. And I decided I'm not going to drink that again. So I poured another bottle and it tastes okay. So I don't know what I did wrong. Okay, so... I haven't streamed for a while, so here's a quick up-to-date thing. I've been making a DOS Twitch bot. Let me show you. I'll open up my DOS box. Oops, ignore that stuff at the top. And I have been editing in my prog directory Various stuff. Ouch, that's so loud. Ah, oh, I gotta, I gotta mute that. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry, DOSBox. Shut up. Ah, oh, it's actually pretty angry at the computer. So we had this last time. We'd open a serial port. We'd read some stuff in. And then I realized something extremely worrying that destroys all hope of this working. And that's that plugging in a TCP stream to a DOS serial port has no signaling. So I can't actually tell it to disconnect or reconnect. Um, so that's a pretty big flaw. That means whenever DOSBox starts up, the uh, connection is in some kind of state. Yeah, it is a fail. That's a, it's kind of a big fail. Um, what else do I have in my notes? I, I got, I got to here. Okay. I'll just skip on past questioning my life choices. So my new plan is to actually connect DOSBox to the internet. And that way I can do signaling and everything. I can make TCP connections. I can connect to Twitch. It should be fine. Uh, the reason I didn't do this in the first place is because it looked completely spooky and scary. But I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to connect... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on how to connect DOSBox to the internet. So, uh, let's just quickly close that out. The first thing you need to do is ignore that. It's music for later. Um, you need to use this program called Slurp and connect it to a PTY thing using SOCAT. Okay? So that that will give you a fake modem connection, which is pretty sweet. And then you go to uh, DOSBox. And let me just check my auto exec. 
So I don't know why that started anyway. Um, so fake modem give you alternate packets? Yes. It gives you alternate packets. So then you use this program called EtherSL, which you can find at freedos.org. And you just have to quickly skip on over to uh, download. Uh, you click this thing here that's not a branding logo, it's an actual link. You click the iBilbo thing, that's very accessible. Now you head on, you go to net here, but this doesn't actually have it. You have to head on over to repositories, then go to 1.2, even though 1.3 RC is out on the website, doesn't list it, we're at 1.2. Then you go to net, then you go to CryNewarner, then you download that, then you get that, you download it, uh, you unzip it, uh, you head on over to drivers, and you copy the file called um, ethersl.com. Yeah, everything's caps in DOS. I don't know why they decided that. It's very hard to read. Anyway, once you have that, you then have to just quickly load it up by putting this in your auto exit, this uh, ethersl.com, interrupt 060, uh, interrupt, no wait, uh, yeah, 60 hex, then 4, that's the COM1 port, then set your board rate, then set these environmental variables, uh, yeah, let's save that. Then you, since we don't have DHCP, you have to also edit up some configuration for the user space TCP stacks. So let's just check that. You can see here I have the packet and I have these special values. The IP address is 10.2.15, gateway is 10.2.2, name server is 10.2.3. Then you have to also translate that to what TCP. And you have to set the MyIP stuff, it's the same data. Um, and also, the only annoying part of this is that you have to edit your DOSBox thing. Uh, that's the wrong directory. That That's also the wrong directory. What am I doing? Let me click that link you put in chat. Watch my SIB wrangle DOSBox inappropriately. Oof. Well, this is actually inappropriate because DOSBox is not meant to be used as a DOS emulator. Anyway, let's edit this, and we have to set the serial port number one to direct serial, real port, PTS, and then find what the slurp one says here, and it says PTS6, and then you set it to 6 here, and then you load up DOSBox, <laughs> and then you can, then you can install a web browser, uh, oh, and may, maybe let's go to links. Uh, you actually have to install it there. We're going to open it up. And then it can connect to websites. And this is a good idea. I can't see anything wrong about this. Connecting DOS to the internet. No, it's links. It's fine. <laughs> Capital links. Links! Oh, I hope that clipped so bad. I hope that hurt people's ears. I'm glad. Did I type this incorrect? Make sure you never accept cookies from untrusted websites. Uh, download about 60 kilobytes of data at about 5 kilobytes a second. And uh, then download the rest. Once you download the first... Once you download the first 60 kilobytes, you have to also download the... Uh, the rest at 87 kilobytes a second, and I, uh, you might start thinking that the program's actually frozen, and you might start thinking, hey, did we actually just run out of memory in DOS? Did this Twitter page actually eat all the memory of my DOS machine? <coughs> Let's just go to the, oh, oh, and we're here. And we pass all this very 
accessible text at the top of the website. Yeah. And we don't want to switch to the legacy Twitter. So we go skip the content. Um, and that just puts us at the top. And that's okay because you don't need to test things in text browsers. You can just page down past all this. And you can get to uh, here. Hey, Luray. It's Luray. I can't pronounce it. What's up? Do you like my DOS? And this is Cos's, this is Cos's tweet, and I'm reading it in DOS. And if you've gotten to this point, yay! I need to sleep, but I want to say hi. Hi, Luray. I'm feeling sad that I haven't seen you stream for a while. And it's made me very sad. Like, I've been... Oh, oh, this is not going well. Uh, I, I was going to say something funny, but I forgot. I'm very bad at streaming. You should watch Lorey stream. They're good at streaming. They're better than me. They read the chat and they can draw stuff. Oh, I hit a button. Um, viewing Twitch. Oh, it's also good to... <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been super sick and I'm in the process of moving. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, if you go to Luray's stream, they'll also play, like, copyrighted music, which is cool. That's, like, YOLO. Uh, I'm afraid to do that, because I'm afraid the copyright police are going to get me. Uh, and this is what Twitch looks like in a text browser. It is... This is fantastic. That's everything that I wanted. Um, I guess the the moral of the story is to just don't use a text browser, have eyes, uh, be able-bodied, and then you can use the internet. That emoji, Lorraine. You can go to sleep, just, you don't need to be here, I'm... <laughs> wow, that's selling my stream real good. Okay, so... TCP and C. So now that we've connected DOSBox to the internet with relative ease, relative ease, we are now going to install OpenWatcom, which, if I don't under, did you fall asleep mid? Uh, um, we're going to use OpenWatcom, and the cool thing about OpenWatcom is that it's kind of open source which is also the bad thing about it. So we're going to somehow use this. I don't know how to use OpenWatcom. OpenWatcom is... It has a manual. I think you have to go to watcom.org. Is that it? No, that, uh, let's just not load that in case it's... Juke do hacks. I don't have any hacks. Do I have any hacks? What What is hacks to normal people that don't know what DOS programming is like? Um, I thought connecting DOSBox to the internet was hacks in itself. That only took me like a day. Yeah, command line is pretty hacks. Um, I just got my mouse stuck in DOSBox and do them, I'm the audience, I demand hacks. Okay. Um, uh, let me find something that's... What do I have laying around that is of interest and in hacks? Uh, I can type stuff into the command line and it will... I can, Look, I can just do... Hang on a second. Wait, do I have toilet installed? Yeah, I have toilet installed. It's cool. We've got toilet. Uh, hello. Right, I'm going to keep pronouncing that wrong. Oh my god, what did I do? Oh no. This is not... What did I do that? What is that? What happened? Okay, I have...
See, if you type that, then it says that, right? It says, hello, Ray. But if I do toilet, it messes everything up. But if I just type it normally with toilet, oh, it's doing it double. What was the... I wasn't thinking of toilet. It wasn't toilet. It was toilet and lolcat, I think. Yeah. There we go. You have to have the toilet and you have to have the lolcat. And you have to have a wider terminal. Or not. What? Uh, then you quickly open the manual and see why they restrict it to... Why do they restrict it? Why is this? Oh. I'm getting too annoyed over this. Width. Okay, it's wrapping it at the toilet thing. So let's just do... There we go. I did it. I absolutely did it. What's... It was written by Mo, is that true? Oh, it was written by Mo. See this here? This manual page was written by Christian for the Debian project. That's, that is, that is the sign that this person did not write their, their manual. M-O, but it says Mo here. Why? It's not capital Mo. Are you saying the manual page is lying to me? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, Mo slang. But isn't that pronounced Moe? And reading it here, it doesn't say Moe. It says Mo. Look, I don't know what anime is. I, I had an anime wallpaper back in 2012, and that was... That was a year. So... I can't do that again. I don't want to wish more bad luck upon myself. Now, what is the context for that? Where's my Whatcom manual? That's what I was doing. I was looking for my Whatcom manual. They have actual PDFs manual for this. Lolcat, Moe. Are those... Did Lolcat come from anime? Is that what it came from? I thought Lolcat was just something that existed. Like, before time. Why is DuckDuckGo going so slow? Context appropriate. Is that like... Oh my god, I'm getting so... <laughs> I'm getting so flooded over this because I I actually do not understand because you wrote context appropriate and I'm appropriate but I read it as appropriate and I'm like what contextual appropriation is happening here and why does it keep saying why why is why is everything failing I oh. how do you get how do you use the internet without duck duck go do I have to use Google why is nothing working? What happened? What? Oh, uh, what? Why? Why is everything that I'm using at the moment just being terrible? You must be root. I don't want to change my host name. Why does DNS domain seem linked to host name? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to meditate and I'm going to see that my internet is working again. And all oh, right. My DNS is going over IP version 6 and I didn't fix the file. Yeah, okay, that's my bad. I guess... I guess I deserve that one. I'm not gonna fix it, but I guess I deserve it. Okay, open Whatcom. How do I get to the website? There we go. We go to this website, and this is, this is a perfect website. This is the website that I wish I had. 
It has colors. It has text. It has it has table elements here. Like imagine using tables instead of responsive divs. Okay. Let's see documentation. Are you an IP latter now? Uh yes. Oh I gotta grab the gotta grab the manual over FTP. Okay. It's fine. It's like it is one of the better open source websites. Like if we search up the you know PNG website. Where's libpng? Oh, is it libpng.org? The thing that is used by computers to display PNG images. We get this. This is good. This is excellent. It's got a sitemap. With the Yahoo search. So, uh, if you need to search it, you can use the Yahoo search. So, this website's... Yeah! <laughs> they put all their vulnerability warnings just here. Like, why? Surely, you don't need to put it here if it's from, like, a version that's from 2000, 2004. It's like, it's been a while. It cares for you. Check out this logo here, though. Check this out. You may not have noticed it. But this is, this is a colored table with padding and font size of plus three. <laughs> Museums need tech support too. <laughs> uh. What does, no HTML tag, center tags, tables. Uh, this is everything you want. But, this is nothing like the Zlib website, which is my favorite open source website. Here we go. This is, this is the website for everything important about computers. If you do computer stuff, you program, you gotta have Zlib. It's, it, see, look at this. It's compressing stuff. I thought it w w was written in Arabic for a moment. Oh my god, my stream does not like me scrolling through stuff. I could up the bitrate, but I'm not going to. Instead, I'll just use the page up and page down. So, as you can see, we have a full manual here for programming 16-bit uh, machines using Whatcom and being an old manual it's a PDF which is good because PDFs are extremely hard to search cross-reference they don't have hyperlinks can't I GCC that says Coz Ross maybe next question Um, actually though, so the library that I'm going to be using to connect to Twitch is called MTCP. It, could it be 10 times easier though? I, there's, there's only one GCC that's going to, oh, I just realized that this website doesn't look that good either. It looks better. It, it doesn't. Is this? Do people actually not know that these websites look like this? Because I'm just sitting here trying to imagine, if you use the internet like a normal person, you just go to Wikipedia and you're like, that website looks kind of bad. But then you go to Facebook and Twitter and Twitch, and it looks cool, but then if you go to anything to do with programming, it just looks like this. Let me just quickly... Check something off my list. J 
Duke, if you enjoy streaming and want to take it further, please make your aesthetic like old retro computer and pastel pinks and blues. No. No, I have I have an I have an internal battle with myself not to bring back U two thousand fashion. And I am I am tempted to go on a rant about it, featuring Kylie Minogue videos and <laughs> Kylie Minogue videos and Apple Max. <laughs> oh my god, Duke no, bad, lose this battle. Why? What's the problem? Hello, hip H Pix Poke. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing some DOS programming, or I plan to, once I explain why year 2000 fashion is the best fashion. Because I have to clear this up. Do you remember 9 <laughs> Shit. Do you remember 9 11? Dear God. So. Everything was going good in 2000 with the fashion stuff. It was a new millennium. And so there was a brief period of time between 2000 and 9-11 where people were absolutely cool and into technology and the web. And that's called Year 2K fashion. And this thing, look at this. This is, this is everything. This is, uh... It is actually pretty dangerous to scroll through that on Twitch. But, uh... Let's take that off, too. Um, if you've actually... If you mean tech fashion, like, Neo Cities is still... Neo Cities is doing pretty well. There's lots of people that like the old website, Aesthetic. How do you say Aesthetic with spaces in it? No, question life choices is for the programming part later. So I would love to have a website. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to school my chat about this Aesthetic, okay? Do you remember, look, do you remember when things were glossy? They were glossy and they looked like this. They had these. Do you know what these are? Do you know what Sigbars? Oh my god, I've got a phone call. I can't... Oh, god. No, I can't right now. I'm sorry. I'll Facebook you, mom. I'm busy. Okay? I'm trying to... <laughs> this is going so bad. Um... I just... I can't... How do I tell my mom I'm... I can't tell my mom about this. Okay, so let's f let's focus. Let's focus on this. Uh, let's focus and let's program some DOS stuff. So, oh my god, I'm shaking so hard. Let's go back to here. So we're using Open Whatcom because we're going to be using the MTCP library, and I don't think it has GCC 16-bit um, support. So if it does, then maybe I will. But let's just grab the binaries for this and just see what we're going. Because oh, I pressed the wrong button on my main computer. So we're going to quickly grab this. And we're going to wget it, and we're going to open this up. And since it's a zip file, you have to make it a new directory and unzip it in that. Otherwise, it will just go everywhere. And that's why I hate zipped files. Okay, so I'm looking here, and I'm seeing that there's actually no libraries. There's a... What? Dash D is a thing? No, wait. It's unzip, isn't it? Are you... Are you messing with me? 
Because this has this is to do with the timestamps. Are you trying to troll me into bombing my home directory with with files? Hey, Pig spoke. Ra has the same problem. Yeah, Ra's. I I am lucky not to deal with Ra's because. Let me just quietly close my windows because the RAW format is proprietary and so you don't really see it in Linux often. There is a way to direct it into a subdirectory. Okay, so it's it's lowercase d. So uh you know just think about that. You would have bombed your own directory. Yeah, there's a difference between uppercase D and lowercase D. And by doing this, I saved myself from having all this in my home directory. The smaller D. Yes. So we have all these DOS things here. And you'll notice that this is exactly everything that we don't want if we're programming. None of this is useful to me. So, we're trying to find, oh, it's a Kappa picture and it has the, it has a rainbow on it. That's good. So now we have to try and figure out how to get the source code for this. For developers, the current version of MTCP is not available as open source yet. Okay, well... Okay, this is fine. <laughs> Duke, the most innocent streamer ever. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of Twitch except other programming streams. Um, so I don't know all the memes, and I don't want to know them. What's the GitHub page? You think you think this has a GitHub page? No, it do Where? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, is this it? Sorry, I'm getting messaged on Facebook. What's up? I probably shouldn't be Facebooking and streaming, but this person rarely messages me. They just, like, mark my messages as seen. So. I don't... Can someone explain to me what that emoji is there? The guy leaning back, putting his hand on his mouth, and he's got, like, a, a mustache, chin strap beard. Okay. I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. Laughter is... Yeah, but surely that's like an actual person from something. Like, the Kappa thing is from... Yeah, that's like, allegedly a human being. Why are people messaging me? That's right, because I just messaged them. It's the Twitch lol. What am I... What is this? Why is this open source, but it's own? It's from March. I don't. Okay, releases. Two releases. Libsy version. Do we have a version without Libsy? Okay, so we want. I'm so high on meds. ATM. Why did I say ATM at the moment? You got to be careful when exp when doing. Un, uh, just like random expansion of strings in people's uh, speech. Because you never know. You never know what it's going to be. You know, I thought, I thought SMH meant so much hate, but it was shaking my head, I think. I don't know. I don't know what these things mean. We require the following libraries to run MTCP. libps packet shader io curl jl yes curl jl but I use w you get. Why this runs on Linux? This isn't MTCP. What is this? This isn't it. Cause you lied to me. Why would you do that? 
This is a highly scalable user level TCP stack for multi-core systems. Why would you do this to me? I don't understand. Okay, so since we're in DOS land, we get to either use MTCP or what TCP. And from what I understand, what TCP is old and outdated, and MTCP is old. So these are the these are the two options here. I get to I don't know. Let's go to the FreeDOS website and we're going to go to the source code repositories. So we're going to quickly head on down to iBuilder repositories 1.2 net mtcp and we're going to quickly download this zip file and we're going to copy and paste it and we're going to save it and we're going to have a DNS value because I didn't fix that so I'm just going to quickly fix that in another window So basically, this is my resolve configuration thing, and apparently that name server doesn't work very well. I think it's my ISP's name server. So I'm just going to shove the Google name server on top of it, and all will be fine, and Google will know my websites. And uh, I guess that's just the price you get for using the internet these days. Yeah, I shoved it. It's there now. See, I don't understand why it's not preferring the IP version 6 version here. Like, it resolved the... It resolved the, this. It resolved the 6 version, but then it uses the 4 version to connect. Why? Okay, watch this. Unzip D MTCP. What? Unzip D. Oh, I have to put a directory there. Okay. Let's see. So we go to the source code of MTCP. And it's got a readme. And we're going to crack open a cold one with this. And it's not helpful. So it tells us where the files are. So we have dev docs. I don't need that. TCP lib and TCP include dev docs, maybe? Okay, does this have a compiled binary? No, it doesn't. Of course not. Who would ship a compiled library? Oh, it's in C++. That's, uh, I don't think that's a problem, but, I don't know. Why would you use C++ on DOS? I mean, come on. You have to deal with the V table. Yeah, DOS has C++. Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't DOS have C++? How do I use this? I don't know. Okay. Maybe I just go to the include. Let's go to dev docs. So what I'm aiming for right now is to compile something. I just want I just want to I just want to connect this to the internet and then modify it. That's all. So maybe it uses a make file. Okay, let's go to Telnet and let's see. 
MSS DOS development with GCC is what Collis just posted. Yeah, I saw this. It's it's neat, I guess. It does it does use GCC IA um IA sixteen, but why did you send me this? Oh my god, that sounded so angry. No, I just thought this was because this usually um, references the IA sixteen port for GCC. Or it, my God, I'm just going to stop talking about that. Thank you for sending me that viewer. Okay, so we have make files in DOS. Yes, it does help. Because it does actually bring up the possibility of doing this in 32-bit mode. And depending on how big this turns out, I may have to do that. Is that, that's a smile, that's, I used that smile in chat before, I think that's a smiley face. Because I'm usually using IRC where it doesn't show the emojis. Okay, so. This compiles the Telnet thing by using TCPC directory. This is in the Unix make file. Okay. Why? Ah, uh, what? Huh? What? Why is it not a Unix make file? Because we're not in Unix cars. It's a Whatcom make file. What well, open Whatcom comes with a make file. Open Whatcom comes with a lot of stuff. So let me show you that now. Because it's content. And if there's anything this stream needs, it's it is that. Okay. So open Whatcom comes with its own C compiler. its own C++ compiler. Believe me, I, I can't, I don't want to check the name. It comes with its own debugger. So let's open that up. This looks pretty cool. Um, oops. Let's see if we can actually open the file I made before. Um, C drive programs uh, int two dot com. Yep. Okay, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, no, it just crashed DOSBox. So it's I I have I retract that opinion. So we will continue using Insight to debug this uh, this mess. So this is another reminder that DOSBox is not meant for this, and I am a fool for using it for this, but it seems to work most of the time. So as long as I don't do too many things, it'll run fine, right? The law of averages says that if it only crashes like 1% of the time, then that crash there is just, that's the 1% and we're gone, we're past it. Um, it does actually, this is weird, it has a copy of Vim, like a custom version of Vim that they wrote. Um, and I find this a little bizarre, because this isn't like a port of Vim, or V, it is, they wrote, they wrote a Vim for uh, Whatcom, and it has like tiling and windows and stuff. That seems like strange to me. 
um, I did actually get the set edit IDE and this seems to be something I might use but honestly after using Vim I can't use any other editor it is it has crippled my muscle memory I shut down whenever I need to move lines around and I don't have my Vim keybinds I just smash the escape key hoping I'll exit to normal mode but it never happens so back to this make file that we're looking at see the thing that is really weirding me out here is that we have these dot asm.obj and .cpp.obj but then we don't specify them as a target we just have these packet.obj and arp.obj ob object and then we also have like these things that are used for the actual code that specifies the directory um, still doesn't really specify I know it is, wait, it's a pattern rule? So, are you saying that's a, like a... What? No, that's... But it doesn't specify, none of these specify whether they're C or assembly files. Yes, I understand it says you can turn an assembly file into an object file but it doesn't specify which of these are what. So, I, I don't know why I'm getting so angry at this. I mean, it, it just says this. Why doesn't it need to? This isn't like Unix make files. Will it? Can you do that? My god. Do they? <laughs> Yelling at me. Okay, man. I, I wrote a make file once back in 2011, and it did that kind of matching. But it always specified by uh, objects and then it would have the actual file names so it would use it would use um, nullprogram.com blog see I like this is a good blog URL okay it just has like it has the, the date that's GNU style patterns this is Unix patterns I see. My bad. Shouldn't have gotten so uh so heated at the uh Oof. Okay, so we're just gonna grab this and shove it in the DOS directory. Oh okay. And we're gonna try and compile it. Yeah, <laughs> it's not empty. Oh, I can't get it. <laughs> oh shit, I can't. I was gonna say something, but I can't. I can't. No, I'm not. I'm not swearing either. I'm not saying the other word. I just. What is this tab completion doing to me? Why is this empty? Why is this empty? Yeah, Luray probably sleep. Sometimes it be like that. Okay, I'm I'm getting flooded by files here because I just I just lost the source code.
There was source code here, I swear, but it's gone now. I mean, it's not here. Let's just do a search. It's not there. Oh, is it? MTCP source TCP lib. But it's not here, and that's probably because it's a long file name. So let's head on over to here. Okay, so we did it. Okay, so let's go to apps, telnet, make. Okay, I need to get the, uh, we need to get that set in then. And then we run W make. There we go. Oh, oh. Okay. Argument list too big. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah. That is that is it is a it is a roller coaster, I can tell you that. Can't execute WPP argument list too big. Okay, so let's make the argument list smaller. My dog is barking, so I may have to let him in in a second. Compile options. <laughs> oh, Duke San, your argument list is so big. That wasn't even close to a Japanese accent. Okay, let's go. Save. <laughs> These damn keyboards, you know? I don't remember which keys do what. Can initialize loader Linux C loader. Now, this is an error I got the other day when testing this. And I probably forgot about it, otherwise I wouldn't have started this stream. So let's quickly search this up. And as you can see, hang on a second, I'll be right back. That's a good question, Hebexpoke, but I just got to get my dog inside because he's barking because he just doesn't understand that just because it's dark doesn't mean that there's going to be more people outside. There's probably going to be less people, if anything. Sit under my desk, it's okay. Don't worry about what's outside. Don't look at me like that. I can't let you back outside because you're gonna bark all the time. Okay, will you just stay there then? Okay, this is all fine. HPixPoke says, is there any comprehensive guide on IRC? I just want to understand how this works and how to use it, and all the blog website blogs tell me a bunch of crap. 
Well, the guide is simply to connect the IRC What's the port? 6667. And write stuff. I don't know how to connect. Help. Oh no. So this is IRC, I think. Is this IRC or is this HTTP? I don't know. I should actually figure this out now while I can. So, connected to IRC, I think it's waiting for me to do something. So, you're probably wondering, how do I figure out what I'm supposed to do? And the answer to that is, snoop on a program. So, I think I have Wireshark installed. Okay, I thought I had Wireshark installed, so I'm just going to quickly install Wireshark. And do we have a IRC program installed? No, I don't. So I'm just going to grab that too. Should non-super users be able to capture? Yeah, okay. I should probably put some music on. I, pre I prepared some music earlier, but I got distracted. And uh, I guess I just messed up. So let's see, DOS mid playlist. Oh, I muted it, that's right. I muted both of the DOS boxes. Is this it? Nope. Oh, that's loud. Is that loud too for you? I'm sure I'll know about it in the chat if it's too loud. Okay, because that is, oh, well, I guess I should up it, but at the same time, you probably don't want to hear this. This this sounds really bad. Oh, yeah, that is really low. Okay, up we go. How's that sound? Does that sound good? It is sound. Let's go to the next track. There. That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just like the old games. Quake and DOS. Doom. Duke 3D. All these games, if you're a 90s kid, you'd know about. Because they happened in the 90s. And why would you ever play 90s games anymore? We have newer games, like... Red Dead Redemption 2. Yep. It didn't take me very long to think about what a new game is. But I did it. <laughs> no, it didn't take long. It was lag. Sometimes there's lag. It's, it's something to do with the with Pulse Audio. It just lags out sometimes. Okay. So, why am I getting this error? Because it's DOS 4GW. Oh, that sounds like it's skipping a bit, but that's okay. You just gotta enjoy the good old the DOS music. Why is this happening to me? Why do I get this weird error from proprietary software that I can't fix or debug easily? The 1.8 patch fixed the problem. Is that for... Okay, so... We're going to, uh... We're going to set that on fire.
And we're going to try and remove DOS4GW. And... Is that possible? Let's just check what we have in memory. Yeah, so DOS4GW isn't in the memory. Can we just... Is there a way to separate that out? Bin W, okay. Make, W make. Okay, is there a way to remove... Oh, wait. RM DOS 4GW. Okay, does that fix it? Okay, stop exec failed. So what if I copy C drive S dot bin CWS D stub. What if I copy that? Would, would that help? As DOS for GW.exe. Okay, so that just triggered some weird antivirus stuff. So, we're going to now check out GCC. And to do that, we're going to download GCC-IA16 from ibiblio.org. And it is not there. What about just GCC? Yeah, this is... This is music. It's from the Free DOS... Free, no, Free Doom soundtrack. Of course, it's called... I-16 GCC. Nice. Now, this is probably going to be all the headaches. Oh my god, that's downloading so slow. Oh my god. Okay, first of all, let's check if MTCP actually supports GCC. So we're gonna trash that. I don't know why that's there. What is this? This isn't it either. Okay, apps, telnet. Let's see. Are we gonna pop this to GCC 16? I don't want to do that. Download <laughs> first, think later. Yeah, I don't have enough options to really say I can do something uh, or I can't. Ah, uh, not what? I I just got blown by this copyright thing there, where it puts like the C in the copyright. No, I don't have many options for what I can use here. So I'm just hoping that it's gonna work. It's go Unless I have to ditch DOSBox, that might be the next step. I might have to switch to something else, like Box. Or, actually, let me find my bag of trash. 86 box, is that what it is? No, DOSBox X. Ooh. Oh, that's so... That's... No, nope, I'm gonna... We're, we're doing this. Ouch, my ears. That actually hurts my ears. Okay, so DOSBox X might have better compatibility than just plain DOSBox. Oh my god. 
Dog, it's okay. You don't need to bark. So we may have to try DOSBox X in a bit. Actually, while that's downloading, let's get DOSBox X. Oh, we have Wireshark. So let's actually do the debugging for that now. So let's install a simple IRC client. I'm going to install WeChat. I'm doing this in another terminal, but I'm basically doing that to install stuff. And then to add it to the correct group. So we will actually have to take some notes here because I also need to know this. Um, what else do I need? I think that might actually be about it to install. So back here, we're going to open up WeChat. So this is a IRC client. And we're going to open up Wireshark. And we're just going to see... Capture. Now we'll have to actually do a new group for that. Okay, so let's open up. I think it would be Bridge Zero. Um, I hope I don't have anything sensitive passing through. So we'll actually set the filter to be, um, port or source IP dot port or um, TCP dot port equals six 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 seven. Okay, and then we're gonna connecting from that and then we're going to just connect to twitch chat and see what WeChat does so let's do server add twitch chat um, irc.twitch.tv connect twitch chat improperly formatted auth okay so that's what we were hitting before so I need to authorize for twitch chat How did I do that on my actual... IRC bot that I've done before? I'm doing this on another computer to quickly check it out. I had an IRC bot. I think. Um, I won't be using WeChat for the actual development, but I'm just using it here for a connection. So what we can do here is connect to here like normal, hopefully, and then we can read it in this packet um, dump here in order to see what it actually sends. So let's see, follow TCP stream, and there, that's what WeChat actually sent, and what we received. So once we connect properly with WeChat, we will be able to see what WeChat sent and received. And that will save time, because then I don't have to read any manuals. User stream zero. Okay. There's also a tutorial for this on Twitch's website. But, uh, it's like too many links away. How 
is this going? You know what? Let's do some quick administrative stuff. Let's actually load Twitch up and log into the bot account that I have. Do I have a bot account? I do. It's called Darkest Cosbot. Oh my god, no! Why would a website do that to me? Why would you just automatically... I feel like I should know a bit more about Twitch before complaining about it. Considering I'm on it at the moment. Okay, so we have a bot called Darkest Cosbot already. And the password is stored on my main computer, so let me just grab that real quick. Okay, but I don't want to focus Twitch specifically, but generally IRC networks. Okay, so... Hmm... Hang on a second. I'll just quickly connect to Freenode and give you an example. Because I'm pretty sure if I connect to it, it's going to dump my IP all over the screen because IRC be like that. But I don't want that. So I'll just do that in another window. Okay, that worked. Let me just check to see... there's anything sensitive in there. Okay, so I just connected to... Let's open this up. And we go connect free node, which I added. And so it's just connected me as a guest. And I'm like, how do I get a TCP connection to do that? So we're just gonna quit out of that. We're going to look at what we captured. Oh god, no. Um, that is not what we wanted. So I'm going to do that again. Oh, right. So we start Wireshark here, we set it to filter all the ports by 6667, which is unencrypted IRC network traffic. Then we do a test connection, and then we quit out, and then we see what it captured. And as you can see here, uh, that has my IP. That's not good. Let's just hide that. That might be a bit... That's actually like, I just doxed myself there. That's okay. We go to follow stream. And as you can see here, we have what we sent here to, to Freenode's um, server and what Freenode has sent back. And then what we sent and what it sent back. So to make an IRC client, we just have to mimic this. Does that make sense? So if we go to... Telnet's a good tool for this because we can just type stuff in. So, I just did that with Freenode 6667, and I just get this. So, I think I need to write uh, Nick Stream or something. I actually just closed. I just did. I closed the, um, oh boy. This is not going very well. What is Telnet? It is just 
Telnet is a protocol that allows you to connect um, to remote terminals. And I'm using it wrong here. I'm using it to connect to IRC, but it works. You just basically send things and you get them back. So like lines. The proper tool here would actually be netcat. So let's use that instead. So if we go to netcat irc.freeno.net6667, that will give me a raw stream um, to Freenode's IRC channel. And then I can type stuff and it will get sent. And it's all line buffered, so it's pretty good. And that's like what I get back and that's what I send. Hello 40 underscore 2. I don't know that. Is that in reference to RSC stuff? So let's just go back here. Your mic is Chris Zero, by the way, but it's fine. Yeah, it is it is absolutely terrible. I am... I am on the fence as to whether to fix it, because I am not a good streamer. But also... I should at least put some effort in, right? Crisp. Okay, so let me do it properly here. Um, so first of all, we open up Wireshark. Properly. This is how I would generally go about trying to figure out how to do networking protocols. So you start Wireshark, we're going to filter it uh, by the port number of the protocol, which in this case is 6667. Uh, we're going to start sniffing my network traffic. Then we're going to connect to... We're going to load up a program that actually can connect to it. And then we're going to set Freenode's address to be uh, something in IP version 4 because I can't deal with being doxxed. So let's see... How do I get... I think it's resolved. Okay, let's just go with one of these. Let's just quickly check what it has here. Alright, so we're just connecting to Freenode by that IP. Okay, so... Then we say let's connect to a quick room like, I don't know, test room. Ah, uh, sorry, test room. There's actually someone here. What? Why did it just dox me again? Okay. This is fucked. I'm getting docked so bad. Dear God. Let's actually just burn this. Let's burn that part of the stream. We're going to ignore that. I'll do a RSC tutorial another time. <laughs> hmm. What is getting doxxed? Oh, I'm just getting my IP thrown all over the screen, which is kind of to be expected with this low-level protocol. I've been trying to kill time while this downloads. But, uh, HPixPoke, yes, we will have to actually 
look into protocols like IRC because Twitch's IRC bot thing does actually use the IRC protocol. So like it or not, I will have to figure that out. But it is a fairly simple protocol. It's line based. It's interactive, which is a good thing. Meaning you can connect to it just like with a terminal and you can type stuff in and get results back and figure stuff out that way. So you don't have to write many test protocols. Dead Mouse, Electric Music Artist, Doc Scrax by putting a t-shirt with his phone number on it. Yeah... Where did he put the t-shirt? Did he put it on Instagram? Did he, did he wear it at the Grammys? Why did they let him do that? Or was he like wearing a jacket and he took it off and it was like... Oh wow, I can't wait to dox people. Okay, so this does not have the one thing that I want and I make implementation. So... We're actually just going to compile DOSBox X and see if that fixes our problem. So DOSBox X may actually save us here and make OpenWatcom work. So let's see if there's actually any releases of it I can just quickly run or compile. Oh, there's a lot of cool stuff here. That's an RPM folder. Well, should I, I'll install that, whatever. Perfect timing with the music. Oh, let's hope so. Oh, it's an RPM. But we have that, we can we can extract the RPMs, I think. RPM. Oh, I can just install it. Hang on a second. Nope, that is, uh... That is not a good idea. There's no extract here. Let's do RPM to archive. Okay, does that fix stuff? Okay. Come on, DOSBox. User in DOSBox X. Is that going to run? No, the PNG 15. This is just that I need to uh, install. PCAP and PNG 15. Grab the source code. Let's head on over to our home directory where I seem to be dumping everything. Oh, that doesn't sound good at all. What is 
no audio in this one? Okay. That's a sweet relief. Oh. Okay. Let's build DOS Box X. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh dear god. This has actually gone off the rails. Did I tick that off my list? No, this uh... This stream is dead. I've... I have... I have run out of... I can't actually record this stream anymore because I've run out of disk space. Ah... Uh. I mean, what do I even do at this point? Why is that too- why is that so big? Why is that so small? Why am I- Why is that- what has filled up my hard drive? Okay, welcome to my- Welcome to my- What? Hell? Is this hell? What has filled up my hard drive? Okay, let's trash that. Um, hang on a second. I might be able to save this. Okay, so we're just gonna resize the hard drive real quick. The petition that I'm on. Um, what can I trash? Okay, I'll just extend the petition. I've been meaning to do this for a while. Okay, resize that. What file system am I on? Resize. TFS. Percent dev. Come on. Okay, 95 gig free now. Uh, is OBS happy about that? Okay. This is fine. I have, I have free space now. I have 100 more gigs free space. I did not do that in the first place. What was I copy getting before? Yeah, DOSBox X. I didn't delete that? Okay. What is all this trash? Is there a make file? Is there a configure file? Do I have to auto recon this? Okay. This is all fine. This stream is going. You know what? This is actually a good stream for anxiety because everything has gone wrong. Not a single thing has gone right in this stream. So, uh, can only go up from here, right? This is the hell stream. Welcome to hell. It's 
have some nice calming music while DOSBox X compiles. I hope that doesn't lag the stream too much. What's my load average? Okay, I might actually push that down by a little bit. I don't want my load average to be above 4. But it's been hanging around 6 for a while, hasn't it? No. Okay, well, the stream starts stuttering. Tell me, and... I don't know. I'm not going to do anything about it. I will do something about it, but this should be pretty fast to compile, I imagine. Let's just check how much... Why am I doing that? Uh, 16. Yeah, okay, let's just see. Here we go. Oh, that's a broken file. That's, uh... That's not helpful. Whatever. Let's delete that. We will also need the actual FreeDOS open Whatcom thing because I deleted that. Where's open Whatcom? So how's your day been going, 42? You seen E3? They certainly had some games there. Oh boy. Um, it's actually pretty late in the afternoon, it's like... 6.30. My brother, like, watched all the E3 stuff. I don't know. Seems weird to me. I think Microsoft announced another console? That's what he told me secondhand? Why would they do that? What are you actually going to put on another console? This code must be compiled using the SDL 1.x library provided in this source repository. This is actual hell. There's no more hell than having to deal with this. Okay, is there a, is there a read? Is there any help? Okay. Build debug SDL2. Wait, is, is there just a, like a configure switch for SDL2? Enable SDL. Okay. Okay, maybe that will help. 8K support and RTX. What's RTX? 
um, what was it, the Xbox Scarlet? What, there's three? Why? Why do you need... Oh, ray tracing, that's actually a pretty good thing. I like ray tracing. DDR6, SSD. They're only putting in... Are they putting like an actual SSD in it? That'd be a bit about a cop out, wouldn't it? You don't want an SSD in a console. You want an NVMe at least, right? I don't know. What am I searching up? Xbox. I mean... It could be good to have an SSD, but... Oh dear god. I can hear the stuttering there. So it's going to be running Zen 2... Running Zen 2? Really? That's a bold move. Okay, Dosbox, I'm sorry. You you you're dying. You you died, I'm sorry, Dosbox. So they're moving to Zen 2. Oh, that's going to be a headache. So the existing CPUs... That's worrying. I mean, I suppose it's not worrying for consoles, because they're just going to get you to buy a new one. But switching up to Zen 2 from previous uh, architecture for CPUs, there's going to be like a huge performance gap for uh, running stuff on older CPUs. I mean, I don't know, I guess that's forwards compatibility for you. I would, ex I would expect that, I would expect that if I had an Xbox One or something, it would play like something that's intended to be a newer version of the Xbox One. But I guess it's not meant to be. Four times as powerful as Xbox One X. What are you going to do on this? 8K, 120 FPS? What are you going to do with 8K? What are you actually going to do? My camera doesn't even take 8K photos. Like... Oh my god, that just... I, I get triggered by 8K because... I don't even have like a 1080p capable system in my house. For all my machines. So I, I still haven't even got to that. I've been, so far I've been like, 480p? Yeah, that's good enough for me. You know, I have a, I have a 5x4 screen, it's not even widescreen. So I'm not the target audience for this. But I thought, I thought 1080p was pretty good. I thought, you know, 4K, you have more pixels, okay, fair enough. But, the only thing I can think it'd be useful for is, like, VR, so you can split it and have 4K in each eye.
But the downside of that is that VR will make you vomit, so... It's not very helpful. I played the VR on the Switch, and, uh... <laughs> you stop seeing the pixels at 4K? Yeah, but... If it's VR, then maybe that's why? I mean, I don't really care too much about performance as much as the peripherals and I.O. and cool CPU stuff, but... Since, I, since I'm a pleb, and I don't actually, like... I don't know, I, can you buy an Xbox dev kit? Can I just go buy one of those, and then start tinkering? I can't do that, right? I don't ha I can't, like, sign the NDA and afford to, uh, start developing for an Xbox. Like, with a Switch, I could just hack- I can? Really? I can just- Oh. That'd be interesting. I mean, it would be interesting to program for a machine like that, but then again, it's just... It's basically a PC at this point. The only interesting things is that you have DDR5... And... Some good audio stuff there. I mean... Surely they can't mean SSDs, right? I recently, like, I have a 120 gig SSD attached to my main computer. But even I know that you don't do SSDs anymore. You download and, you, like, not download. You'd want to put an NVMe in it. Like, that's, that's what the thing is now. If you want something fast, you have to have it directly connected to the IO bus like that. You have to go past SATA, you have to... I don't know. I I can't understand that. Okay. Where do I set this up? Okay, so user bin DOSBox X. Uh, where did it install to? Doesn't NVMe have lower capacity? Yeah, maybe, but at, I mean, you'd want to have speed, right? You'd want to have some kind of hybrid solution where you shuffle some data back and forth. Maybe that's not good enough? But SSDs aren't that big, are they? Like, what's the actual size of the... It's not going to tell me, is it? The storage of uh, a normal SSD. Yeah, that's the, that's the interesting part. Okay, so it's in bin here. Oof. Oof. This is oof. Okay. This looks interesting. I like this. This is DOSBox X. RAM disks are interesting. It's interesting to have RAM disks again. Those... No, I still don't get it. I mean... The entire purpose of having virtual memory on a computer is so you can abstract away the storage. So you'd have a RAM disk, and then... No, I don't, I don't understand RAM disks. Why would you want a RAM disk? That just seems like a waste to me. Do I have DOSBox? I guess that's a bit of a baity thing to say, because I, I understand that RAM disks are faster, but the... 
Yeah, but that's what like computers do by default when they load up a program. They they load the resources into RAM if they're going to be used again. Like if I run here free, like I've only got six hundred and fifty three megs free, but like I have four point five just cached things running in my RAM, not running but stored because it's going to be used again. And none of the programs know about it. So maybe... I don't know. Yeah. But then again... Where is this getting the configuration file from? It will be fast, but... Is that the bottleneck at this point? What is actually being swapped out? The only thing I can think that'd be useful for is voxels, maybe. Oh, this is not, this is not going well. The hard drive for the SSD. I don't remember what I said. I'm a bad streamer. Why is this running so slow? Oh no. Okay, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, it's logging. Is that what it was doing? The hard drive for the SSD. I'm just trying to think of how much data you would have, tr you'd be streaming from a drive in order to need it to have faster IO. Because you stream, you get something from your drive, you put it in RAM, then you use it throughout the game. The only thing you'd need an SSD for is if you have to swap stuff out. Because you don't have enough memory. How do I do a release build? How do I... Is enable debug by default? No, I didn't want to do that one. Oh, whoops. Ray tracing is pretty cool. They load shit onto the RAM as you get them according to my understanding. Yeah, so... I'm just trying to imagine, like, if I'm a developer, and I have a game, I have a triple A game... You know, I have a triple A game, and my game needs a lot of things right now. It needs them in memory right now, but it has more of the things that it needs than it can fit in RAM. Yeah, but you have level of detail, don't you? Or do we not do that anymore? Is that what's happened? We don't have, like... I don't know, I'm, like, I think peak graphics was when VoxLab happened. Like, 2002, they had, like, real-time voxel stuff happening everywhere. A bit blocky, but, no, it, it worked. It was pretty sweet. No GPU needed. But, I guess we have actual ray tracing now.
I don't know, it just doesn't seem that interesting to me. Okay, let's do the DOS box test thing. Okay, mount. Yeah, this is slow, what the heck? But if it works, I'll see why. Um, let's see. If this works, then I'll just fix it off stream, because Microsoft seems very hype. Microsoft are always hype about their junk, aren't they? If you're not hype, you failed as a company. Hundred and cycles a second? A millisecond? How do I see if you call edit cycles? Is that better? Is that gonna fix my issue? I mean wasn't the wasn't the peak stupidity of consoles the Xbox three sixty and PSD generation where they use like terrible CPUs? Can't you just put an SSD in your Xbox anyway? Or do they, like, solder the hard drive somehow? Putting an SSD in your Xbox sounds like an aftermarket thing. Yeah, I imagined it would be really easy, but... I guess the bigger question is why they didn't ship the damn thing with an SSD in the first place. Like, it seems like the obvious thing to do. Oh, are you gonna work? They were expensive. Yeah, but... They're not making any profit from the consoles. I don't know, I'm just still, I'm still mad that the... I'm still mad that... Oh my god, dog. It's okay. I'm still mad that the DS dropped Game Boy support. That's where I am, uh, that's where I am now. The Game Boy Advance having support for Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and regular Game Boy games? That was... that was sick. Like, you don't... How do I up that up? Can I just do that? Okay, if this is if this is going to work and compile things, then I guess that's the solution here. We'll move to DOSBox X. Cause it's actually intended for these things. Although I will have to figure out how to make the thing faster, because this is not okay. Though there's a million reasons why it could be slow. It could be slow because I'm not actually running this with a graphics card. Could be slow because it's logging everything. It's not running an optimized build. But it seems to be working. What's Sony going to do in response to this? They're going to bring out a console. We've got an SSD too. Remember CDs? Those were good. I 
PS5. Did they announce a PS5? Hang on. Let me just... I'll open up the one source of information that I regularly read, and it's Wikipedia. No, do, oh. What is RTX? I, do I want to know, or is it just going to make me mad? It's going to use Ryzen. Sorry, am I reading the Xbox thing again? Because that seems like the exact same... Did someone copy and paste that from Wikipedia? Ryzen, Navi Family GPU, real-time ray tracing, SSD, 8K. How is this happening? How did this happen? Where is... I'm getting way too angry at that. I just... I'm in future systems, but isn't that where the PS5 is going to be in Wikipedia? Like, there's nothing... There's nothing here. I'll check the talk page, because that's the best place to learn about anything in Wikipedia. No, nope, no one cares. No one cares here. It just seems really weird that they would announce 8K support. It's just a lot of things that nobody asked for, and yet they're selling it. But hey, maybe it's going to be really cool. I mean, why wouldn't it be cool? You have 8K. Google has their little streaming game thing too, which is... Something... I don't know why you would actually ever, ever want to play games like that. But, if they make games that are designed for that, then sure, I guess. I mean... How much is this going to compile? Is this looping? I don't think so. Included seven seven four nine eight. Okay, so we have we have DOS stuff here and it is compiling and it is working kind of it's working better. So we will be switching to DOSBox X. Because then hopefully Oh, I can just turn off logs here. Because hopefully the better support here will allow me to actually program it. And I'll have to figure out a way to prod the IRC connection. Hmm. Because IRC would be like, hey, you're connecting from this location. And I'd be like, I don't want that on my computer screen right now. And that would be pretty hard to remove. I might just have to 
record some traces off screen and uh, edit them and take notes. This my, yeah, I threw away my actual list of uh, stream notes. How long is this going to take to compile? My dude. Oh, is this it? Dynamic core? Is that what I want? Let's go for a 386, 486. And let's set the core type to auto cycles. Okay, I guess not. Oh, okay. So that should be fine. My God. Okay, so depending on if this compiles in the next five minutes, that will decide if the stream ends now or then. Because I have run out of steam. There is no more steam here. Oh, is that telnet.cpp? That's the thing I'm compiling, right? So you'll be linking it next. One other thing I'll have to deal with is whether I'm going to be using a exe or com file for that. This. Probably com. It depends. You know what? I'm going to cut this stream. and come back another time. Thanks for tuning in. See you later. I'm out of, out of steam, so I can't really... Okay. Bye-bye.